Good morning from day three. Uh, last night, uh, lots of rain, rained off and on all night. Um, good thing though is it's not raining now. It's about quarter after six and uh, it's not raining. So at least we don't have to pack up in the rain because that is never fun. I uh, didn't sleep the greatest. Um, just, yeah, it was a lot louder here than our last campsite. And I think your mind can get carried away with you on what's outside lurking and all the noises you hear and you kind of get in your own head. But once I fell asleep, um, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, that's all to report for right now, I guess. Gotta get up and uh, get dressed and uh, do all our morning routine and then get on the trail. <sighs> Hoping for a good day today. This campsite actually has a pit toilet and not just a hole in the in the ground which is nice it's pretty fancy let me show you yep ladies and gentlemen that is what we have well we are packed up and it is Oh, 10 after 8. We said 8.30, so we're actually a little bit early this morning. Woohoo for us! <laughs> um, we are heading back to the Little Heaven uh, campsite, and from there it should take us to the McLaren Pass. Um, still no rain. The skies are opening up, and well, you can't really see, but it actually looks like it's going to be a nice day, so little bit windy now but it's gonna be a good day ladies and gentlemen I have a feeling what a view this morning and the blue sky well somewhat blue I guess there's some clouds up there but the Sun is peeking through and it is beautiful out here this is new this wasn't here yesterday looks oh, pretty yeah. fresh <gasps> Oh shit. <laughs> well, that was really fresh scat. So yeah. we are gonna have to be extra noisy today cause that wasn't there yesterday. Um, I did hear some noise in the campground yesterday, but, or last night, but I thought it was my mind playing, <laughs> playing tricks. But maybe it wasn't, maybe it was the bear there, but at least he left us alone, which, which is good. We'll just have to be, extra aware and extra cautious today and make a lot of noise. There is the warden cabin. Well, we see mountains today. They were hidden yesterday, but we get a better view this morning. And we're heading straight towards them. Well, mm -hmm. we'll turn off, but we're heading towards them for right now. So beautiful, feeling blessed. Well, we are back at Little Heaven Hiker Camp, but the trail continues up ahead. Well, we're pretty sure anyway. So, we are heading that way. We are heading into the trees now. We might be done with the, the willows. It's pretty in here. Walking through the meadows, even if it's not raining, brushing up or against all those um, brush definitely gets you wet. Should have put my rain pants on, but I think eventually they would wet out anyways. 
So hoping that we get some sun a little bit later and can dry the feet and dry the pants. We are hitting lots of deadfall on this first section of the McLaren Pass, having to navigate around all of this fun stuff. And yeah, fun times. This is the path in front of us. We got about six, seven fallen trees. Are you looking forward to the next section of the trail? I love wet willows. <laughs> wet willows are the best. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we have. That looks pretty sketchy. <laughs> yeah, this bridge has seen better days. It's a little lopsided. <laughs> this is what it's been today. One obstacle after another. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Pretty cool mushrooms. And then we have this. Our first official creek today on our trail. Pretty sure this is Deer Creek. Could be wrong, could be Blue Creek, but I'm thinking it's Deer Creek. Well, I try to cross without getting wet, but that didn't work because the rocks are really slippery, so. I told Deborah she just needs to walk across because <laughs> she's going to get wet anyway. <laughs> I think I will. They're super slick. Man. They are really slick. Alright, here goes nothing. What feet floor. Mm. You just got to stop caring. Yep. Well, we got more bear scat on the trail. This one looks a little bit harder so we're thinking this one was yesterday's and the stuff that we saw earlier was maybe this morning's. Hopefully he's going the other way. Well, after a while, you just have to get wet, so. I think we have to cross that creek multiple times today from where I read, so. Figured we're already wet, so you just gotta walk right through it because I think there's gonna be more today. This part is more like a trail. I like it. So we've reached a new section of the trail. I think this is kind of where it maybe starts to gain a little bit of elevation and go up. But look at those views. Wow. I'm glad we're not going up and over that mountain. Because <laughs> I could go on beside it. Yeah, I think beside it. I don't have enough energy to climb that mountain, that's for sure. How about you? Do you? Oh, totally. I could totally <laughs> climb that. <laughs> no problem. The trail heads down here. What a pud. Right? Well, we just did a first pud. Yep. Work our way up over those rocks and now we're heading back down. Good exercise. <laughs> we are loving today's trail. <laughs> sections like this that you really have no idea where the trail goes. There's my 
marks on those trees, I bet you it's that way. Oh, straight ahead maybe? Yeah. Hopefully. Look, we have a log to help us cross this river. Well, that was much better than getting my feet wet. This is a walking bridge. What did you say? I said stupid. We don't understand <laughs> why they just can't keep the trail on the side. Si same side all day instead of making us cross the same creek over, over and, and over. over. And our shoes are literally just <laughs> dry. And like now my socks <laughs> felt good. And now we're back to being wet. Soaked. Maybe that will be our last one? Hopefully. Should we get some water? I don't need water. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't run out. <laughs> We crossed the other creek maybe two minutes ago. And now we're back to the other side. Like, <laughs> this is kind of why? this is kind of fun though. It is fun. <laughs> Embrace the suck, Deborah. I am. With a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's all KCT train. <laughs> we got some pretty flowers. I'm indulging in having two tortillas today for for lunch. I think I've earned it. <laughs> well, we're stopped for lunch, but basically right on path and not the best spot because it just drops off over there. But that's what you do on the trail. Well, that was tasty followed my lunch with a Twix bar because I feel like I might need the extra calories. Um, we're going to be heading up here, start our climb for probably the next couple kilometers and then I think we have a steep descent down off the trail. We've been hiking for about three and a half kilometer, sorry, we've been hiking for about three and a half hours and we've covered about seven and a half kilometers. Definitely a little bit slower today, um, just due to the trail conditions, a lot of uh, yeah obstacles in our way. Takes me back to the West Coast Trail, but in a whole different way. area is absolutely beautiful. Got the creek running on one side of us and we've got willows and just beautiful scenery around us. And to think that we are the only ones out here right now, well in this particular section anyway, because we haven't came across anybody else. It is day two of uh, being completely solo and not seeing anybody else. So far anyway. That is where we are going folks. A little bit more willows to go through. And we're hoping it clears up a little bit. And we're going up and over, somewhere over there. <laughs> we're not sure. I have never seen so many wildflowers all in one place. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we had no idea what today was going to bring. We didn't have much information on the McLaren Pass. So we really had no idea what we were getting into. We're not finished yet, but 
we put work into today and uh, I was asking Deborah earlier like is it worth it or but when you see views like we do today this is one of the reasons why we are out here um, only people that put the work into hiking and uh, getting into the backcountry are going to see the views that we see today they are absolutely beautiful i've never seen so many wildflowers and like look at behind that's where we're heading like isn't that beautiful and then behind me like the mountain over there like we are both feeling really blessed today that we are out here on our own and uh, we're really appreciating today. The work so far has paid off. We believe this is our pass, or at least the beginning of our pass, just up and over there. And then who knows what's on the other side, but it's amazing. One more look at what's behind us, because this is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. I could stay here all day. Well, the area that we thought was the pass, I don't think that was the pass because we're heading in a different direction. And uh, so I was wrong. But we are heading up and I don't know, over there instead. It's kind of neat not knowing where you're going. Just following the trail and no idea what to expect. Okay, we can't seem to get up and over the path. We keep on stopping and we just can't get enough of these views. So I sat down to take a picture of a Dr. Seuss flower or whatever they're called and uh, I kind of fell down and I'm in the most comfortable spot and <laughs> I don't want to get up. I just want to stay here all day. I think we should pitch our tents and just stay here for the next seven days because <laughs> I, <agree>. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should because it's beautiful. Oh, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at though. Like this is my view. I don't think it can get much better than this. Wasn't too long ago, we were way down there and then we followed the meadow through all the willows. and. Uh, started making our ascent. Each time you stop, you just get a different view of what's behind you and in front of you. It's so amazing. So we were correct when we first thought the pass was up this rocky part. And it took us somewhere else. We just had to make our back way back up here. So this is the trail, and we're heading up there. Get up and over to the other side. Well, we found a little lake. I'm trying to get Deborah to go in for a swim. But I think it's a little bit too cold and windy up here. <laughs> Want to go for a swim? Not really. No? <laughs> Your feet might thank you. My feet have been wet enough today. <laughs> Just peek after, peek after peek. 360 degree views everywhere you look. We can't seem to make any miles today. We take about 20 steps and we stop and we look around and it's a different view. And 
and just got to take it all in. So I don't know if we're actually going to make it to camp tonight. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not too not. sure. It might be a late night. We thought it might be an earlier day, but I don't think it will be. But that's okay because we are taking this in like yeah. everywhere you look. It's just gorgeous. It looks like we are probably at the highest elevation and at McLaren Pass, 2,134 meters. Look at that. Well, we got to the highest peak and now it's all downhill from here, right? It's gotta be easy, no more climbing. So that's a bonus. This is what I'm walking towards though. Just magnificent. Wow. Look at all the rivers and the lakes down there. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, look at those mountains. They even have snow still in them. See? This is why we don't make any time. <laughs> wow. Well, we mean business now. We are starting our descent. Well, we are slowly working our way down. Looks a little closer. Headed, I think over here. <laughs> or not. This part of the trail definitely isn't uh, marked. <laughs> so we almost <laughs> got lost in these thick willows, but on the other side, over on the other side of those trees there. <laughs> well, coming down definitely leaves you wondering if you're on the right path or not. It's very overgrown. And thank goodness somebody else was out here this year already and uh, packed down the trail just a little bit for us. In certain spots anyway. Feel like we've came down a long way, but I think we might be halfway down approximately. A lot of descent left. We are following the goat trail. Well, we officially came out of the McLaren Pass. That last three kilometers descent was, uh, yeah, it was kind of hard on the knees. I wouldn't want to be going and doing the circle any other way than the way we did because going up those three kilometers would be extremely difficult. From here, we have to turn left. We got to go this way and we are heading to Blue Creek. Um, Blue Creek's another four kilometers, and then tomorrow we have to backtrack and we're going to the Ancient Wall. But the Ancient Wall is another eight kilometers from here, so making that a 12 kilometer day tomorrow. So we'd rather do the four kilometers and head to camp since it's already 4.40. We've been on the trail for eight hours, and according to the Garmin, um, we've done 15 kilometers. So slow and steady. And we've got four kilometers, so another hour and a half or so. I'm thinking we should be at camp, hopefully by six. McLaren Pass, that away. Ancient Wall, that away. Though there's no signs to tell you. And Blue Creek, that away. So far, the trail to uh, Blue Creek has been super easy. This is like 
I don't know, this is wonderful after some of the conditions that we had today. We had so much deadfall um, and just obstacles. The trail is so overgrown. Don't get me wrong, it was all worth it and beautiful. But I think, uh, I don't know, this is a good way to end the day. We are hoping that camp is on the other side of this little creek because man we are beat and we're ready to be done. I don't think we've been more excited to see camp than we are today. Well on this trip anyway. This is the hiker horse camp so we share but as you can see there is nobody else around. <laughs> Why are we excited? Why? Yes. Because oh, this is a really, really long day. We have a porta potty. It's beautiful out, and there's firewood. <laughs> and we made it to camp, finally. <laughs> <laughs> we got a sign from Simon. We left him some trail text because he's uh, just a day ahead of us. Uh, we have different itineraries, but. And uh, he left us a message. He was here last night. This is hi, Barb and Deb. Hi, Simon. We'll see you in two days. that away so let's go check it out there it is oh, that's nice we got a privy or a, a green space capsule <laughs> pit toilet over here as well which the other horse camp had too so nice to have Figured I'd give you a recap of our day since I'm sitting here waiting for my supper. Um, today we got to back to camp here probably, it was a quarter after six or something. Ended up being about a 10 hour day. We did take quite a bit of time um, up in the, the highest peak there in the meadow since it was so beautiful. Um, but all together, yeah, we did 20 kilometers to 20.5 according to um, my Garmin and Deb's was 20.5 and but I think we were only supposed to do like 14 to 16 or something like that just because we came from the little heaven horse camp instead of the regular camp. So it was a little bit longer day, but overall it was just amazing. Um, just so much different trail today from the beginning to the middle to the end and into the very end. We were done um, by the time we got here. Uh, so we are happy that we made it here. We didn't have to ford Blue Creek because when I saw that I panicked I was like nope not crossing it because it was fast so um, it took us over might be Blue Creek but maybe just a little channel off of it I'm not too sure but we made it across safe and sound so I'm happy tents are up and uh, now I'm just waiting for my belly to be fed I forgot to show you guys earlier um, on the map where we went today. We camped at Little Heaven Horse Camp, which is right there. And we just backtracked to the hiker camp and then we started across here. The trail, McLaren Pass, isn't actually on this um, map, but we basically went up, followed the creek, and then we kind of worked our way up and over the pass and we came out about four to five kilometers 
on the upper Blue Creek Trail. And then we backtracked and we went to um, Blue Creek right here. Blue Creek was actually one of the nights that we had already booked on our original itinerary on the North Boundary Trail, which we would have just continued on um, going down here to Three Sides and up to Oatmeal and to Bing and Twin Tree. But this is where the trail is closed, so we couldn't get any further than that. And that is why we are doing the loop that uh, we're doing now, which is this one up, over, and down, and up to Rock Lake.